all my plant lovers and random people on the internet who found this video. Today I'm going to be sharing my Caladium collection with you guys. If you've never seen these beautiful plants before, so these plants are actually really cool because they go dormant in the winter and they're considered a summer plant. They started as actual like bulbs that you plant underneath like the soil, you know, kind of like how flowers and dahlias um, start. So kind of like little potato turd looking things in the ground. I'll just be kind of going over what the process was when I started these things like that and the difference between the two caladiums I have. So these are both caladiums. They are just different types. So this is the Marie Noir. And this, these, and this is the Gingerland Caladium. So both really kind of cool in their own way. I will have to say that the reason I picked up the Caladium bulbs was for, for this one right here. Because I mean, look at it. It has like these beautiful white leaves with these vibrant pink polka dots and then this dark green stem coming down. So just look at how beautiful that is. So, um, basically the first thing I did, they started off as these little potatoes. And then I didn't really have soil. I got them in March of this year, so March 2022. I didn't really have any soil, so I decided to go ahead and just wait a little bit. Uh, my roommate actually had bulbs that she had bought like two years prior. And because you can store bulbs year after year and replant them, and they should be giving you like leaves year after year if you store them correctly, I thought that those ones would would bloom, but they didn't, they didn't grow. So they ended up, um, they're still at my parents' house in pots, not really doing anything. But these, the ones, and I forgot to show you guys. So I actually have two sets of the Gingerland Caladiums. So, and look, this one actually has a new leaf coming in. So ignore my handwriting, but that's the Gingerland. Um, anyways, so I planted these March or no I got these in I can't talk so I got these in March of 2022 I didn't plant them because I didn't have soil until April of 2022 I actually planted them on April 20th 2022 no correlation to like the date or anything um but that's when I planted them so as you can see on the back let's get the little tag there and it's dirty because I haven't really like touched these since um but yeah pretty much that's my palladium collection um, again, this is the Marina Noir. This is the Gingerland Caladium. One other thing I did want to talk about is the difference between why this one is so bushy compared to this one, which is not so bushy, but more like simple, cute, you know, sleek, things like that. I could see this like on a single shelf on a wall. I could see this like on a, as a centerpiece on a table with like a nice big pot, that type of thing. So the reason why this one, the Marina Noir Caladium is so much bushier than my Gingerland Caladiums is because of a process called DIing. And if you guys are Caladium lovers and looked up tons of YouTube videos and did a bunch of research like I did, then you might know what DIing is when it comes to Caladium bulbs. So I'll try to insert a picture of when I did DI them um, compared to the Gingerland Caladiums, which I didn't DI. So basically the process of DIing is when you take a, I'm just gonna use like the aqua form. So when you take like, this is the bulb. So when you take the bulb, on the bulb, there's certain like growing points or like eyes on them. So there's like these little like dots better. Um, and that wakes up the bulb out of its dormancy state so that it can begin growing. But also um, take into account that since these are summer plants, or I'm gonna stop using this. Since these are summer plants, I'm gonna use this one because this one hasn't really gotten any show time. Since these are summer plants, um, they like 
hot weather and humidity or warm weather and humidity. So um, even though I started these in April and I live in Southern California, so even though I started these in April of this year, he took two months to sprout. I thought I, I thought I thought I had gotten duds or something had happened to them, but I was kind of, because I had just had the ones I got from my roommate um, that she had and didn't end up planting for two years. And then those ended up not producing anything. So I thought I had like the same issue. So I was like, dang man, like I, I really, really want to grow caladiums, but I maybe just don't have any luck. So two months, I literally just like let them sit in these pots. And these are the original pots I put them in, just like nursery pots from Amazon. And then I would check on them, kind of gave up. I would kind of spray them because I heard that you don't want to let the soil get like, too dried out. You want to keep it damp, but not like too wet. Um, so I would spray them every once in a while, just kind of hoping. Um, it wasn't until, because I started them inside and then I was like, well, it's hot enough in where I live. Maybe I can put them outside and they weren't really doing anything in there. So I ended up taking them back inside, maybe like a month and a half. <laughs> and then as soon as I took them back inside, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or maybe like the weather had just gotten hotter over those past two months or the past month and a half that I had them outside. But they just started taking off. And the first one that started growing was the Marie Noir. So I actually got this leaf first. And when I saw this leaf come out, because I knew, I knew they were supposed to look like this. Like when I looked at the picture, I bought them because I wanted this specific like look. But, so this is the first leaf that sprouted. I had none of this. It was just all these little like growing points. And then this was the first leaf that sprouted. And then I was kind of like, okay, that's really cool. It's finally sprouting. And I was like, yes. But I was like kind of bummed because I was like, wait, what the heck? Like, that's not what I wanted. I was expecting this, you know? So it wasn't until um, these other ones started growing. So this is what it looked like. If you look, if you can see this, this is what the sprout looks like. The growing point that comes up above the soil, they look like big spikes. So it was kind of like creepy looking, honestly. And then they start forming these leaves that just like get too big for the growing sprout or the sprout the growing points and then they just grow 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 until this beautiful leaf is formed and they unfurl so you can see some have really unfurled this one was actually like this one's as big as my hand now this one actually wasn't this big um when it was like fully unfurled so it's definitely still growing and getting bigger and i feel like when i do repot it i'm just a little scared too because i don't want to like mess anything up um it should they should start getting bigger too so i mean what's really cool is like people usually use caladiums to um decorate as foliage like underneath trees shrubs bushes and things like that so it's cool that you can grow them indoors and I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I'm really excited. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today is just my Caladium collection because I really thought I'd kill them. So now that they're like, actually plants i'm really proud of them I'm really excited and i mean you can even see that this one is growing another leaf which is really oh let's take that off which is really cool and this leaf this leaf looks like it's about to be huge see that but aren't these so pretty just like look at the leaves they have like this green dark green light green pink color to it, it kind of looks purple I don't know I'm just like so in love I'm gonna link my plant Instagram in the description if you guys want to ah, watch me freaking break this thing 
I would cry. <laughs> I feel like I'm violating her. Okay, sorry, is that, I'm so sorry. Anyways, I just wanna show you guys. But look how freaking cool that is. Like, I don't know, freaking plants are so cool. Um, but if you guys wanna follow my plant Instagram, it's rocks, like R-O-C-K-S underscore. Actually, I'll just link it down below because I don't even know what my Instagram is. But I just post like reels and things that I'm growing at the time. But by far, these have been the most proud I've ever been of um, my plants because I actually grew these from a bulb. Like I didn't buy them in a nursery pot and whatever. I planted them in a nursery pot and I grew them myself. I'm pretty proud of that. Subscribe for more Rando Contento.